It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Sunday basketball, we've got the Thunder at the Lakers. I'm Micah Roberts with Rick Heron. Rick, when we looked at the schedule at the beginning of the season, we had this one circled on a calendar. This was supposed to be an epic battle. Now we got the road team favored four and a half, five points. Is there any reason to side with the Lakers in this spot? Well, Mike, I, you know, I just, I keep thinking back to the beginning of the year and I you'd think that we had two marquee matchups. We had Heat at the Celtics, Thunder at the Lakers, and no one would have ever thought that both the Celtics and the Lakers would be wow. under 500 for the year coming in, coming into this weekend. Um, I don't understand why the Lakers keep getting the respect they get on the line, to be perfectly honest with you. They're about 40% against the spread on the year. There might be, there's probably no Dwight Howard at this point. Haven't heard anything definite on that with the shoulder problem. They're still talking about trading people, all the controversy going on. Earl Clark in the starting lineup now, Gasol coming off the bench. And the Thunder, on the other hand, this is a brutally tough stretch for them. Nine, this is their nine of their last ten on the road. They just zigzagged right. from LA to right. Golden State, back to LA. I mean, this it's is a their nice stretch. And this is going to be their sixth straight road game in nine days, over a nine day period. But they just keep winning. Yeah. And uh, you know they don't skip a beat. Uh, and I, you know, I haven't seen any fight out of the, the Lakers. I, I don't think they like playing together. I don't think they en they enjoy playing together. And they certainly don't play any defense. Nope. If you're ever going to step up, this would be the spot. But let me ask you, yeah. what are the Lakers' odds of making the playoffs at this point? Right now, no is minus 120, and that prop has got as high. When they had a two-game win streak, I, get, I think they beat the Cavs and they beat the Bucks. That number went, the yes, was already all the way up to minus 280. So that's been fluctuating all up and down. We'll see where it goes from here. But right now, the no definitely definitely uh, looks promising. I, I keep waiting for him to step up, but until I see it, I'd have to side, I'd have to side with the Thunder, running them out of the gym. They've already beaten them twice this year. I don't see why it's not three times. That's a sound team, OKC, laying the points in Lakerland.